reviews, man. Y'all know we back with another one. You know how yes, we yes, yes. Strong energy, man. It's the home right of hip hop news and cultural commentary. And we got one of our audience's favorite stories as of late. Straight Watermelon up. Gate. <laughs> <laughs> the unredacted version of the lawsuit the drop. And For Diddy real. is out here a legend that he told Diageo be careful <laughs> over watermelon vodka's racial connotations and the undertones of that. That kind of touched you at a place. I could tell that that kind of like shook you to your core, you know, being being that, yeah. you know, you go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like the watermelon, I mean, we all know the history of black you people. Sensitive about that, right? <laughs> Go ahead. No, I'm gonna let you go ahead. Cook, man. Hey, listen, yeah. we all know the history on black people and watermelon, and you know, when you do uh, we, but go ahead, we may go not, ahead. we may okay. not, but listen, uh -huh. yeah. in the past, there have been you know, cartoons mm -hmm. and all kind of little pictures that they made back in the day where they had jokes about black people and eating watermelon, and it was kind of like you know. Black people took it as racist, you know, like, man, why y'all trying to incorporate watermelon every time you see a, a black person? You get me? So I think mm -hmm. Diddy took this as like, hey, what y'all, hold on. Now y'all trying to just throw watermelon on me? You got to be careful. What you, like, there's people sissy mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's funny. It, it's a cultural thing. I remember yeah. when there was an ad where there was a kid it was a black child and he had on something that said coolest monkey in the jungle mm -hmm. and everybody was up in arms about it the black people you know black mm -hmm. black people out there in the world and the kid's mother came out and said i didn't take it like that you know right. what i'm saying because there's white mothers who refer to their kids as monkeys all the time but being that we're american and it has a different connotation for us. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're sensitive about that thing. I'll give you an. Uh, I'll give you another example. Ryan Coogler was in an interview. I think it might have been. I don't want to say, but he was on an interview, and he was talking about. I think doing research for maybe the Black Panther. He's a director of the Black Panther, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just going off memory, and he talked about he he went to a place in Africa. And they revered the watermelon because it was hydrating and a source of food. And when Ryan Coogler shared the tales of watermelon having a negative connotation, the African man couldn't understood, understand that. It blew his mind that we were offended by people saying that we like watermelon. He like The African was like, well, damn right. You should like watermelon. What is the problem? <laughs> So it, it, it's, it's, it's a ways to look at this, but let's read from what Hip Hop DX has. That's one of our, uh, you know, sources we tend to Straight pull up. from. Hold on, time. but make sure y'all yeah. subscribe to the yeah. channel, man. We try to get y'all good content. Make sure you like, you know, put a comment in there. It pushes us in the algorithm. We really appreciate it, for real. Let's Word up. We, we <laughs> really do appreciate that. And we we answer your comments. We ain't like these people who too cool for school, too big. You, you give mm -hmm. a like, you give a comment. They don't even shout you out. We shout Let's our go. people out, man. Mm -hmm. So uh, the unredacted lawsuit dropped on July 5th, right? We, we first heard about Diddy's alleged lawsuit and parting ways with Diageo to company that's housed uh Ciroc and De Leon. he's been in business with them for 15 years we first heard about that on june 30th so the new allegations in the lawsuit paint a picture of mismanagement on diageo's behalf on both uh diddy brands De Leon tequila and Ciroc vodka as well as claims of racist and unfair treatment toward the bad boy mogul among other things Puff and his legal team allege. And when they say legal team, they talking about that boy John Houston. He he looked like he don't even play the radio. He out he out for blood. But let's see what the new allegations are that drop. Uh Diageo presented Combs with a watermelon flavored version of tequila, despite Mr. Combs's objections and efforts to educate Diageo about the racial history and connotations relating to watermelon. Now, I thought that was a little bit strange, Bob. I yeah. hear what you're saying, that, you know, there's negative connotations with watermelon and everything like that. 
But Diddy did allege that he signed off on a watermelon flavor for Ciroc, just not De Leon. Right. So, so hear me out. Hear me <laughs> okay, out. Right. All right. Diddy is like this. He like, okay, look, I accept that Ciroc is what it is. I already promoted this in the hood. I get you. Now I got this De Leon. I'm trying to have this for the upper echelon. You know, it don't matter what race, but don't put me in a box when you're trying to put the uh, watermelon on me. I'm trying okay, to make this so, like your big brands, so like it, your big brands that you will push. You get what so I'm saying? So it sounds like what you're saying is Diddy was okay with being discriminated against for Ciroc. He'll do the nigga song and dance with Ciroc, but De Leon, it was what he had a problem with. Is that the, the picture that you're painting here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know if John Houston would agree with that, okay. but yeah. uh, I think that it kind of, it's a contradiction there, you know. And then I ain't see Diddy having a problem with it when they had a grape flavor Ciroc. <laughs> I thought that was right. a little crazy when I saw that. I was like, hmm? "Cause, come on now. I mean, watermelon got negative connotations, but they know niggas like grape flavor shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, niggas like grape flavor soda. You know, say grape flavor candy. Typically, right. you know, so." When I saw that, I'm like, is Diddy just kind of, does he have his pulse on what's going on? Or is he doing something that, and I kind of was torn with it. I was like, should I be offended by this? Or does everybody like grape flavor stuff? Am I just thinking small? Because there's white people out there that like watermelon too. And I've been to all different type of neighborhoods. And it's not like Ciroc mm -hmm. wasn't there. You know, but you know, maybe right. they got a bigger sample size. Maybe they know something I don't. Let's go on. Ciroc and De Leon continue to be described as urban brands with Diageo portfolio. portfolio. How you feel about that? That's where the problem comes in. You're okay. putting De Leon in a box of urban brand when Diddy is trying to like make this to where it's not in a box. If it could be in the hood, it'll be in the hood. But I really want this where your guys uh the Cosmigos, what you said? The Cosmigos, Cosmigos, yeah. all of them. I want, yeah. I want that. Yeah. I want to be in that light with this brand. You feel did, me? He, did he allegedly only put a thousand dollars up? But he want to be in the same light as Cosmigos and Don Julio and all this hell. We don't know they deals. We don't know the inner workings yeah. of what they got going on. But he over there pocket watching. He because this be is what Diddy like gonna this. say. Diddy gonna say, "Look, I brought. Listen, I can yeah. sell this." Diddy Listen. is a salesman. He like, look, bro. Listen. Okay. You don't need me. You don't no, need you, me. You know what? <laughs> Diddy is a salesman, right? So you think if uh if Diddy got Biggie, right? Right. <laughs> and you're MC, whoever gives a damn, you know what I'm saying? From from Lauderdale, dog, and Biggie selling out of, of shows and everything like that. You think Diddy's gonna give him the same treatment? You, you, you think he's just say you a white boy rapper you feel me and they just not feeling it like that you and, and, and he not putting no money into his own promotion and everything he not hustling because did he always put a put it on us that we gotta hustle we gotta make it happen for us so we can't wait wait around for a label to do so and that's his whole thing right mm -hmm. you how you think diddy would have handled that situation how we know that costa mugos and don julio just wasn't selling better because it's a better liquor could not be. everybody even thinks the rock tastes good I never had De Leon. I could be wrong, but how do mm -hmm. we? How are we gonna? How are we gonna just run to racism with that? You know, that's Diddy. And, 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 and another, another point I want to make <laughs> before ahead. we get off that because I got a little bit, you know, going there. Does he have that same energy when they refer to music as urban? Are you suing the radio stations because you a salesman, right? You've been in the, the, the music business far longer than you've been in the liquor business. You've been dealing with them 15 years. Where was this energy when all of these songs is, you know, they're referred to it as the urban market? And, and you know what I'm saying? You, you, you want that black capital when you're making money, right? You want people to recognize you as Diddy, but then all of a sudden it's bad when they try to, I don't know, focus their efforts. What else they going to call it? Mm, I don't, I mean, okay, go ahead. If we read more of the article, it okay. was other cases of a, uh, I think it was a black woman that filed a case on them. 
Oh, you're referring to Ebony Major, the first yes. black bender, blender at a major whiskey distillery filed a lawsuit against Diageo. But you were just in the last episode talking about, you know, this is a law case. We're only going to focus on this instance right here. I'm not going right. to uh, put anything else into it. So I don't know if we could pull to that, but I did notice that too. Yeah. And I would consider it. I'm not thinking like that. I'm going to say that maybe this is a pattern. I was going to get to that, but we, mm -hmm. we, we, we here now. Yeah. She alleged the same thing. I don't know what the result of that was, but could this be a cash grab for Diddy? He sees that, oh, they're open for that. Let me try to piggyback off of that since the business ain't going good. Let me try to recast this as a black and white thing, you mm -hmm. know, just because I'm not getting my way because I see a chink <laughs> in the armor. I don't know. Also, okay. Diageo plan to give all its agave the main tequila ingredient to its other tequila brands and allocated none for Dalian. I don't even understand how that works. I mean, how much do they got left? Mm -hmm. I mean, if they don't got the agave, what they gonna make it with? I mean, what I mean, how would that even work? Mm, right. You don't got nothing to say to that? I don't got nothing to say to that, but no, that uh, could be uh, incompetence, right? Does that I mean right? Is that, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's a breach of contract, but that's the, the heart of the issue. Did they breach the contract? I guess we'll have to look at the contract for it. But if you go further than that, it says that uh, sloppy paperwork led to the shipment of the De Leon being impounded by the Mexican authorities. What you got to think about that? It depends on who did this uh, paperwork. <laughs> I mean, it, it seems like incompetence to me. You know, Right. Do you think because Migos going through that? You but I'm they got a ship impounded. I don't know. It's it's hard to say. <laughs> it's hard to say. Right. I don't know if they, you know, that seems like they say you up. did it, right? Listen, right. they fifty percent partner, so it seems like I wouldn't do that. Like if I if I wanted to hurt you and we fifty percent partners, right? Why would I try to get one of your shipments knocked off? Like just despite I don't know. That seems like a stretch, but I I don't know if we have enough to really paint a motive for why that happened or how it happened it it, it could kind of be chalked up to incompetence as well i mean when okay. you line it all up next to each other and you already have a perceived motive maybe it could seem like that but i'm i'm not really that convinced just yet um the other one says erratic production has led to repeated shortages of daily on including being out of stock in at least at least 10 times in the past year alone um I mean that happens with records too. There's people who get undershipped and overshipped. I don't know. I don't yeah. know if this is a no. Nah, this is, this got something to do with money being lost, though. You know what I mean? I get what you're yeah. saying. You're saying yeah, but at the end of the day, the bottom line is money that's being lost that I have to speak on. I gotta let you know, like, look, bro, this erratic stuff is costing me. Like, what are y'all paying for? It? We don't know who's actually paying for these faults or these problems too you know we don't know if did he gotta pay for that that the shipment ain't or do i mean last time we heard he's gonna go door to door with it so what he worried yeah. about shipment you know he come from the streets he was a paper boy i don't know okay also what i thought was pretty damning now this is just what diddy is alleging this was on an iheart audio um article he said that one of the execs told him he could get more support if he were martha stewart Mm, you think what? that's racing? I mean, I would take it that way if somebody says <laughs> some, sh some shit like that to me. To so be if that's you, true, that okay. Crazy. So if that's true, do you feel like Diddy's claim with all it is is valid? If you know, if, if you told me that, then I go research everything that's happened, and I'm like, damn. So if you feel like Martha Stewart, I would be better. Is this why I'm getting this kind of? I mean, that's coming from Diddy's mouth, though. Yeah. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to prove something like that. They need to say some shit like that in an email. <laughs> like when the emails linked to them, of them football coaches, they couldn't do nothing about that. But you just saying it, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I know Diddy going to get that paper, though. He might have seen uh, Miss Ebony Major, you know, about to get broke off or something like that. He like, look, man, I felt like stuff was a little bit crazy around here, too. And that's how I'd be like at the job. Like you found out like they did somebody else, like they paycheck one, right? You start doing the math on yours. Like, hold on. Yeah, yeah. my overtime a little light, too, man. Let me get in there. Let me get <laughs> I need to be a meeting, too, because I feel like yeah. they playing with me as well. So 
I'm not knocking that, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not, I don't know if I'm all the way convinced, but it seems like we got a fight on our hands. I'll say that. It, yeah. It's going to come down to whether they, whether or not they violated the contract. And what you might not have heard is Diddy is reportedly planning to request billions in damages uh, due to the alleged neglect in a separate legal filing. Billions? Yeah, no. no, no, Diddy. So he gonna. This ain't the last lawsuit. There's reports that he got another one. Loaded My point up. to you is Jay Z won his. Hold on one second. <laughs> bad, my boy, I had to catch one dog. But... <laughs> Yeah, he go ahead. What you were saying, Jay Z sued his liquor producing company as well and won. Okay. So we can see that you know it may be a finessing part on these liquor brands on trying to you know finesse these salesmen that's selling the liquor. It could be something there, you know. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, that's that's relevant. I, I'll give you that. He Jay Z did win, so maybe I maybe did he saw that. So I'm 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 gonna be interested to see the 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 more developments as time goes along with Watermelon Gate. You know, I, I don't know. I'm undecided at this point, but it is very interesting. I'm gonna uh keep my mind open to being changed. Uh, but right now I'm on the fence, mm -hmm. you know. But yeah. I, you know, best of luck to both of their ass. <laughs> you know, so I hope justice is served. Y'all chime in on the comments, man. Straight up, know. is this karma for all what Diddy's done in the past? Is this no. victim <laughs> mentality, or is yeah. he really getting the short end of the stick because he's black? Let us know, man. For real, let us know in the comment section. We're gonna catch y'all in the next video. Yeah, yeah. shrewd, shrewd.